Welcome to Radio Boomers Live, the show about all things human from a baby boomer's perspective. All things hot and all things not. News, reviews, interviews, chat, text, and what's next. And here are your hosts, Risa Gray from Betty White's Off Their Rockers and Easy's dad, Jim Zuli. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome everyone out there in Cyberland and the Easy Way family. And this morning, unfortunately, Jim Zuli's not going to be with us today. He's off on some business. But fortunately, we have the one, the only, the man of the hour, Mr. Eric Zuli, co-hosting this morning. Yay, Eric. All right, Risa, I, I need, can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> All right. I need I need to definitely uh, send you your check for that wonderful introduction. Thanks thanks so much. It's, <laughs> it's a rarity uh, that that uh, that that I come on and, and host any shows anymore and have enough time to do that. But for my dad, uh, I I make I make the time. So uh, God bless him and 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 his last minute emergency, which is uh, pretty awesome. You know, uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, but hey, Radio Boomers Live guys, good morning everybody. Uh do me a favor and 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 go to letter E letter Z W A Y F A M dot com on Facebook. Now uh, that's a group that we have and, and let us know what type of coffee that you're drinking this morning. Uh and how your how your morning's doing. So tell us about the show, Rita, what's going on? Well, we've got you with us, so we're gonna get all the information that we can about everything easy way from the broadcasting to the wall of fame to the speaking that you do, everything that you do, <laughs> as well as our regular stuff. And you may not be a baby boomer, but you got a lot of information stored up in there. Well, I, I, I love the baby boomers, by the way. I mean, uh, you guys, you guys are the bulk of my, my business. Uh, we're, we're the ones that hold your hands and, and show you how to, how to press the technology button to make money. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'd be glad to brag about easy way. Um, <laughs> so a lot has well, happened. Well, let's start off with, let's start off with our hot topics. Ripped from the headlines, today's hot topic. Well, my hot topic is. That I want to talk about that COVID fifteen pounds that most people have put on. I was lucky; I didn't put on quite fifteen because I was busily cooking through the COVID, and I so I ate less fattening foods. But I already had a little extra weight anyway. And summertime is coming, and boomers, I know we don't wear our bikinis anymore. But we still go out in the sun. We still wear our bathing suits. We still like hanging out at the beach. So we're going to have to figure out what kind of diet. And when I say diet, I don't mean bad stuff. I mean, how are we going to change our way of eating so that we can not only take off those extra 15, but we can take off that extra 20 that was there before the extra 15. So there are all kinds of diets out on the market. I'm not going to try to recommend one to you because I know people recommend them to me and they never work for me. Figure out what works as a new way of eating for you, whether it be paleo or vegetarian or vegan or just the combinations of cutting down on everything, cutting down on sweets, cutting down on even fats. Figure out what you need to do. And, of course, we all need to exercise more. It's been a little cool in L.A. recently, the last few days, but it still hasn't been cool enough that we can't go out and walk. If you can't really do that hard exercising that you used to do, do that half marathon that you used to walk, walk for a half an hour. I've been told you can even do it, break it up into 15-minute pieces. Walk for an hour a day, but do it in 15-minute segments if that's all you can do. But let's get started doing something. Do it for not only the way you look, 
but for the way you feel. I always feel better when I'm lean and light. And speaking of lean and light, Eric, what's your hot topic? Because he's certainly lean and light. <laughs> well, I definitely agree with you, Rita, on, on, on needing to walk. I, I, I have uh, experienced that myself. Uh, the blood flow is really important. You don't want to uh, not exercise. And my recommendation is get yourself a puppy. Get yourself a dog that makes you walk, that scratches your leg and barks at you when you're on the computer too much. And make sure that uh, that, <laughs> that uh, you get those you get that walking in. Uh, you know, on, on the health note, on the topic of health, I think I think my topic will be about about health. Uh, what I what I realized myself personally is get yourself a big bottle of water a big, big, huge bottle of water and, and put stuff that has to do with health, essential oils, apple cider vinegar. Uh, uh, we have these droplets uh, that, that, that we recently got uh, involved with uh, called Immucis, I think they're called, and they, they help to oxygenate your blood. And I just, I just found that if you put a bunch of things that are healthy for you in water and you just drink that throughout the day, you feel better. And, and it's, it's just a great little little thing I've been doing. And so I thought I'd throw it out to the Brady Boomers live listeners. Great little, little tip. I go to Trader Joe's myself and, and I get one of those, those big uh, 24, uh, you know, you get about 24 bottles of the water and I just put a bunch of healing stuff in that water. And, and uh, that's been, that's been helping. Cause it, with me, I mean, I'm sure that you guys out there are probably, you know, busy on your day to day, you know, with your mother or your father or your, you're, you're working a nine to five or you're doing it like me and making money on zoom or from the monitor, whatever you might be doing, but you're always busy. And, and a lot of times pe- people are too busy for their own health, which is stupid, <laughs> but uh, that's a good little uh, tip. I-, I wanted to give everybody, you know, as far as staying healthy is just find a big bottle of water and put a bunch of healthy stuff in it and make sure you drink it and get sleep. Sleep's really important too. So I'm terrible I know, Adam, about drinking did water. I, did, I, did I do okay, Rita? Did I, did I stick to my minute? Uh, <laughs> oh, you did really good and, and really good advice because I'm terrible about water. And really, we all need to drink more water. And that filling that jug up in the morning, that's really a good idea. I'm really going to start doing that because it's good for our health. But that yeah. takes us up to our first commercial. It's com- as my dad would say, it's commercial time. <laughs> Finally, something to look forward to on Monday morning. I'm Rita Gray from Betty White's Out There Rockers, and I've teamed up with Easy's dad, Jim Zuli, to rock your world on Baby Boomers Live. That's right, every Monday morning at 10 a.m., we will be discussing all things human from a Baby Boomers perspective. So, Tune in to EasyWayBroadcasting.com on BlogTalkRadio.com to see what Jim and I are up to. Your Mondays will never be the same. We are living in a digital age, and we think it's safe to say that all businesses are needing to transition from traditional brick and mortar to broadcast. Everything is really about data collection and building a community. EasyWay Broadcasting has created a social network slash solution provider within the EasyWay network to help its members with this transition. Introducing the EasyWay Wall of Fame, a one-stop shop for business owners and influencers that help them to connect, grow, learn, and scale the easy way. Over the years, we have been building affiliates and partnerships in all genres. That means our platform utilizes all our members and businesses to provide services at a much lower cost, help sell their service, and promote their awareness to more potential customers. Through our new media empire, we have a reach to millions. Become an affiliate. Make money doing it the easy way. Create your free account today by visiting easywaywalloffame.com. Accelerate your influence through direct access to the right influencers. We have many TV shows that our members can be interviewed by. We have our own magazine and radio station to promote our Easy Way Wall of Fame members' profiles, which they control. The more friends you get, the bigger your business will grow. Join the Easy Way Wall of Fame community for free today. The Easy Way Wall of Fame. If you guys don't know about it, you go to easywaywall.com, letter E, letter Z, W-A-Y, Wall. Dot com and it's the best community you'll ever get into if you can get approved 
to uh, be able to enhance whatever it is that you're doing and, and just be, be, a, be a part of a great lead generation uh, situation. I mean, we have close to 500 profiles now, and we've had over 100 actual deals happen within the platform. The conversion rate is, is, is amazing. But, uh, Rita, I think we have a really fantastic guest. Uh, proud to call him a friend and actually a member of the Easy Way Wall of Fame. He's actually been an Easy Way family member for, I think, close to seven years, maybe more now. And his name is Jason Spann. And he expands you. <laughs> He's the founder of Expansion, which is uh, X S P A N N S I O N. And he helps entrepreneurs. Uh, with this TV show, as well as talents, you know, focuses on business owners, educational experiences. And uh, if you get on in, on the expansion show, uh, you expand yourself. Um, so he's doing some great stuff. He's been an entrepreneur for, for quite some time. We're proud to have him on the show. Let's welcome to Radio Boomers Live, Jason Spann. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Beautiful to be here. How are you this morning, Eric? How are you, Miss Rita? Hey, Jason. I, I I don't know who that was. All of a sudden, this like crazy person came and just took over my microphone, and I that was that was. I mean, you you got you must have some fans, Jason. You, that's pretty scary. <laughs> that's out of nowhere. But hey, man, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you. Fantastic to be here. So let me ask you a question, Jason. How come Rita Gray hasn't been on your show yet? Well, that's a fantastic question. And you know something? I hate to pass the buck, but that's something we'd have to ask Rita. Because I would love to have her. Rita's on mute. She's like, oh, no, Eric, you ain't putting me on blast. You, 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 no, no more last-minute thing. <laughs> right? Rita, are you there with us, or are you on mute? Are you doing the baby boomer thing? I bet you she's on mute. Watch three. Oh, I, I am. Um, I, I stayed on mute <laughs> after the commercial. What can I say? I'm just talking away. <laughs> yeah, Jason, I'd love to be on your show. What, the, what the goes on on your show? Well, to be very specific, what I've come to realize, and it actually fits in with what I was doing prior to the pandemic, but with everything closed down, I realized that there's a real gap in the business world in terms of high quality, affordable promotion for not only entrepreneurs and small businesses, but also for artists. So what I'm looking to do is, you know, with the help of the fantastic Easy Way Network, shout out to Eric Zuli, uh, who happens to be here with us. <laughs> it's fantastic to be able to give people the opportunity to get high quality promotion at a price that they can afford. That's great. I mean, that, that's oh. the best way. That's the best way right, right now, Jason, uh, to to make money from from home and the monitor and the microphone is promoting others. And uh, we're proud to have you as a show on the on the network. And and yeah, you know, speaking of being on, you know, part of the Easyway family and and uh, and and having a show. I mean, you've been with us for for a while. Talk a little bit about. Uh, your your easy way experience and how it's helped you actually monetize and and increase your situation. It's absolutely helped me to, in the words of yourself, monetize my microphone. Um, I met you a, a while ago, as you know, and what impressed me about your situation was number one, it was about uplifting people, but the main thing was it was about empowerment. It was about showing people how to uplift themselves. And you put that together with the fact that promotion is necessary. There, I mean, you know, in the words of Scripture, you can either give a man a fish and feed him for a day, or you can teach him how to fish and he eats for a lifetime. So if I can have any part of teaching people how to fish, so so to speak, when it comes to moving from brick and mortar to broadcast, that would be fantastic. And Rita, well, I really you know, interrupted you before. So go ahead. A, well, I guess if doing a promotion, you're right, it's very expensive. So how do you make it affordable for, like, I'm an entrepreneur, but I'm an artist. And so, you know, we're starving artists. I heard there's actors that have a, a 
full series going on, but they keep their daytime job because you never know when that's going to run out. So you never how do you know. Make it affordable for the small business owner. Well, what I'm looking at is, first of all, the fantastic opportunity that I have through Easy Way Broadcasting. You know what I'm saying? The opportunities that I'm able to afford people is an offshoot of the opportunity that's been presented to me. I would recommend everybody listening, go to Easy Way Wall of Fame, just Google Eric Zuli, get in touch with this man, check out the network, and you would be surprised at what this network can help you do for yourself. So the opportunity I'm able to extend is an extension of the opportunity that I'm receiving. So tell me about the expansion show. Uh, well, I'm looking to make it as fun as possible. You know, um, there was a rapper back in the day. His name was KRS-One. And he always spoke about edutainment. And that's the that's the edge that we're looking for. We want it to be informative, but we also want it to have the vibe of a business mixer where you can get to meet people in a relaxed space. Networking. So, and so when is your let, show me, let, me, let me let me remind you, uh, Jason. Uh, what show you're on, I, I, I can guarantee you none of our listening audience has ever heard of KRS-One. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I, <I'm, laughs> I, I figured, but I figured that they would, you know, grasp the edutainment part of it. So, so, so KRS-One <laughs> is, is, just so everybody knows, he's, he's an American uh, a rapper, uh, which is known for his stage name KRS-One, and he reigns supreme over nearly everyone uh, when it comes to <laughs> teaching and education, but it's a, and a real hip hop, uh, you know, but he was one of the first people to, to, to really in the hip hop realm, come up with the whole edutainment thing based upon I, what, I, what I can remember. And in the underground, uh, he's very, very known. So to the baby boomers out there, he's a musical teaching prodigy. That's the best way I can Absolutely. kind of explain it. But J- so, so Jason, you're 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 kind of saying that your show is following in the footsteps of KRS One. Um, one could only hope so, but yes, yes, I definitely want to entertain, and I definitely want it to be informative. And uh, like I said, the thing that really attracted me to your situation, the whole Easy Way Broadcasting Network, was the sense of empowerment, and that's what I'm looking to do. I'm looking to empower people. Well, you're definitely going to be able to do that, being on our network, reaching millions of uh, of, of, of people around DirecTV, Roku TV, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, Google Play, Apple Store. Absolutely. And we have a large, large community that supports you uh, for sure. And so basically – I want to thank about- everyone that has reached out to me on the Easy Way Wall of Fame. That's easywaywall.com. Please continue to visit me, and, hey, let's make it happen. So, Jason, talk a little bit about the business side, because you may have some entrepreneurs that are listening or, or retired people that might be interested in being on your show. It sounds to me like this is an opportunity for the listeners to be able to get more promotional exposure. Is it free to be on your show? Or do you offer any free opportunities? Uh, talk about the business side. Uh, there is a fee, and what we do is we charge a fee for the featured artist or entrepreneur to come on and really give people an intimate feeling as to what they're offering, whether it's artistic or on the business side, what services they offer, how you can get in contact with them. And then we promote your business or your art for a month. Oh, for a month. Wow. Okay. So, and and do you mind telling us the ballpark figure, what that fee is? Uh, Not at all. It's a hundred dollars. Really? Wow. So you, yes. so you promote people for one month for $100? Absolutely. So you promote people for a uh, a a dollar, what would that be? A dollar uh about $3 a day. $3 a day. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Rita. Yeah. I'm not I'm I'm not too good. <laughs> so so for three 
So for three dollars a day, you you promote them to millions of people on our network. That's a pretty good deal, I would say. So what's your phone number or your? I mean, your your wall of fame. I mean, people can search you if they're interested in this offer. Um, they they'll be able to search you on the wall of fame and just type in Jason J A S O N. Uh, you know, yeah, if they want to be. I figured that I would have everyone. I'm booking everyone through the wall of fame because I figured it would help. <clears throat> Excuse me. It would help get two things done. It would help me get in touch with some fantastic people, and it would help draw people to the Wall of Fame who are probably going to end up becoming family members once they see the opportunities that it entails. Well, yeah, and then, and then we also have the affiliate program too, where those those people can make money as they get involved with you. You can make money with your affiliate if they if they click on your affiliate link. So let's do this to make it simpler for the listeners if they're interested in that in that in that offer. Um, you guys can call 877-399-2929 or text letter E, letter Z, W A Y, no spaces. Again, letter E, letter Z, W A Y, to the number five five six seven eight. And now, Jason, would we be able to do like one special offer, like maybe one one opportunity for one lucky listener for free or a discounted price or something like that? That would be fantastic. Yes, I would love to do that. Well, there you go, guys. If you want to get uh, – it will to reach... lead to your expansion. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. If you want to reach millions of people and get on Jason's show and get your chance to get on for free or $100, uh, just text easy way to five, five, six, seven, eight, as well as, uh, go to the wall of fame and click on members, search Jason and follow his, uh, his, his profile. Uh, well, thanks. Jason. Artists, mm-hmm. uh, one more thing real quick. E artists, I would really love to hear from you. So please reach out. I was going to say, talk- what do you offer for the artists? Uh, uh, entrepreneurs obviously have what they're trying to do introduce people to what do artists have the opportunity to do an artist feature can thank you for the question Rita. An artist in, uh, feature entails an interview on the show as well as a showing of a performance whether you would like to do it from your home studio or the video that you've already recorded and your music will be promoted for a month through all these various networks and platforms so Jason, we're we're actually creating a a music channel, and we're working with some some very 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 large established people in the music industry that can help artists. So basically, in a sense, you can take that segment of those artists performing from your show, and edit that one segment and turn it into technically a music video for them to where they can get discovered. It sounds like. Absolutely, that's, that's the a- whole idea. I- I wanted to give people, but I, once again, I'm trying to make it very amiable for people. So I want it to be as grassroots as a home video, like the way people used to perform on Chappelle's show, all the way to a full featured video if they have one shot. So, we just want to, I just want to give them the opportunity to express their vision to people. So can people submit their music videos to you? Could, are you accepting music uh, like video submissions and you play it on your show, or, or is it only live performances or pre-recorded performances? Um, right now, it's going to be scaled back to the featured artists on the show. So it's it's, it's music videos. It's any type of performance for whatever time time frame that you're allowing, which could be five minutes or or what whatever that segment is. It sounds like, and so people absolutely. And by artist, it's a very broad definition. I mean, I would love to have a painter come on and do a virtual showing of their painting. It's just a matter of what vision you would like to express. As oh, an it's, it's, not, it's not just for music. It's for any talent, any any artist. Interesting. So you're like a kind of a, a, a America's Got Talent kind of segment on on the show. It sounds like, all right, guys, so do me a favor. If you're interested in this, email easy way, letter E, letter Z, W A Y network, E Z way network at gmail.com. And we'll make sure to forward that over and get that over to Jason, as well as you can go to the wall of fame and, and text easy way to five, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, Jason, you, you, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. Rita, I'm going to go ahead and let you say it goodbye to is. Jason. Close it out. It's always a pleasure to have you on the show, Jason. I'm sure we'll have you back again. 
and I'm, we're going to have to work out something for me to be on your show. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Ms. Rita. Thank you so much, Eric Zuli. Thank you so much, Radio Boomers. Thank you. Thank You're you, welcome, Jason. And now? Thanks so much for coming on. Go ahead, Rita. What was... Another word from... Let's hear from another word from my sponsor. Sponsors! All right. Yeah, I love sponsors. They pay our bills. Woohoo! What's the next sponsor, uh, engineer? What, 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 do we, what do we got there? Come on, play something. All right. Are you looking to accelerate your influence? EasyWayWall.com is a new site that allows you to promote yourself, business, brand, and your products as an influencer. You can share your ideas, receive comments, promote and brand yourself with the power of affiliation. Associate yourself and your brand with the power players of today to become leaders of tomorrow. Come and join the EasyWay Wall today. Sign up at wall.easywaybroadcasting.com or text EasyWayWall to 55678. Meet the new Money Mindset Mentor, Wealth Builder Jeff Levine, founder of JL Solutions. JL Solutions, accelerate your wealth. All right, I'm excited uh, to have this next segment coming on, and I wanted to personally, because since I have the chance to be on the show today, personally come on. Rita, you do, the, do, this, with, do this with me, because I, I don't think that we really truly give uh, Carmelita the love that she really deserves. You know, Carmelita Pittman has been in this industry for such a long time. She's done so much for so many. She knows everybody in the industry, everybody. If you want to know somebody in, in the industry and you know Carmelita, then you'll be able to meet somebody that you want to meet in some, some sort of way. I mean, people don't even know how amazing heart, how amazing of a heart this lady has. And, and she has a, she truly has a heart to help. And so um, next coming up, Next segment is called Carmelita's Corner with Carmelita Pippen. You are about to experience Carmelita's Corner. Carmelita's song, Rosebud, made it to the top 40s with the godfather of soul, James Brown. She's the founder of the Rose Breast Cancer Society. Now here's your host, Carmelita Pittman. Well, hello there, Radio Land. And here we are again today, another day. We made it through another trip around the sun and the moon and the stars. <laughs> and I've got a star for to present to you today, and she's a dear friend that goes way back. She's been one of the biggest supporters of my nonprofit organization, and she's got quite a history in Hollywood. She is a legend, and she is best known as the tribute artist to Charlie Chaplin. I'm sure you've all seen or heard of her at some point. She's also done a tribute to Michael Jackson, and she's been in lots of movies and television shows. Just to give you a little partial list, she's been in Splendor, Men in Black 2 with Will Smith, Return to Babylon, Fast Sofa as Michael Jackson, and she's been on a television series called Marketplace in Episodes 1, 2, and 3. And also a movie, Blow by Blow, with Johnny Depp. She's also been featured in the AMC Project, The Talent Collector, a television movie, a documentary about Jiffy the Clown, which she first became famous for. So let me present to you today Ms. Audrey Rutan, actress extraordinaire, a.k.a. Charlie Chapman, and all the rest of them. Hello there, Audrey. Well, hello there, Carmelita. Oh, what a wonderful. You're such a beautiful lady, and we go way, way back. I just love you and love what you stand for and, and unbelievable. And, yeah, we've done so much together in Hollywood and, and also in the Army out here in Palm Springs, uh, Cathedral City area, and was the Palm Springs Walking Stars for over 10 years. And, 
And, you know, I still did my Charlie Chaplin, like I did an event yesterday. I saw at the uh, Women's and Empowerment Summit and uh, in, uh, at the uh, Performing Arts in uh, Escondido with Sharon Doe, and that was beautiful. And she's doing a great thing for the women's empowerment and having all these wonderful speakers. And um, also, it was it was great to be Charlie there. I, you know, I tore the house down. Uh, you know, they were talking about, you know, laugh, you know, because everybody was closed down because of the pandemic care we had. And so I went up there and, and everybody had a great laugh. So that was uh, good for the soul and things like that. And, um, yeah, I came to um, uh, uh, California in 1984. I was illegal alien, and I came here, and I got my green card to the Ronald Reagan Embassy, and uh, people who lived here since 82, and because I people wrote me letters, and so I got my green card. I was a permanent resident here, then I could work and pay my taxes since 1987, and then I became American citizen of um, February 20, uh, uh, yeah, 25th, 2020. And uh, so, but I can, you know, really be involved and, in, you know, and be uh, an American citizen here because I love this country. I'm a patriot. And, um, and, and you know, when I came here, I, I did working uh, as a clown. I started as a, as a balloon artist making balloons, and I went on as, uh, as a professional clown. And then I, in and, and 1996, you know, because I, I worked in different movies, and in 96, I, uh, I was working at the, at the hospital, too. I, I have a background in the medical field. I'm a pathologist assistant and uh, did cases for over 20 years, autopsy cases, you know, forensic medicine and, heart and all sorts of stuff. And then I went into the show business world. I got the bug. And then I um, was three months behind in my rent, and I was living in Van Nuys at the time. And I said, what can I do here? And I said, well, I had this old jacket somehow. It was in my closet, the hat. I said, you know what? And so I went to the Hollywood Boulevard on Garland's Chinese Theater. And, of course, you know, I had a lot of hassles and issues with the police. Oh, you cannot be here, you know. And I, I made $65 in two hours. I said, oh, boy, just for people taking pictures with you. Oh, that's great. And I had fun. And people like it, you know, from all over the world, from all over the world. Well, I went down to the watch command, and I showed them that my credentials, that I was this green actress girl, and this is what I did, and blah, blah. And he said, go out there. And, of course, the rest is history. And I became a very a, a real landmark. In Hollywood, and uh, you know, so I got hired at different events and did a lot of, you know, uh, with your agents and things like that. I've been up the stars with Debbie Reynolds and Rudy Lee. I've done events with them uh, for the Theorians, and they were, you know, and things like that, and also for lots of other events and at the, you know, so on and so on. And of course, I got involved with the Die Rose Press. Cancer Society under Master of Ceremonies, selling Master of Ceremonies for that organization of the Rosebush, um, uh, the Rosebush Cancer Society, beautiful uh, company. This mom is absolutely beautiful, and um, you know. And so now I just continued my entertainment, and I live out here in the desert, in the Palm Springs area. And I just bought myself a little house in Johnson Tree, which I, I, you know, I like being uh, peaceful. And I also play percussion. I play the tambourine and and a little bit on the congas, but I'm known as a tambourine player now. And uh, I had an opportunity to play last night in Palm Desert. It was, people love it, and so did the musicians I played with. And... Uh, but I still love, you know, I, I love people and I love being around uh, doing things like that and doing all kinds of events. And, and, and of course, during the pandemic, you know, the, the virus, that, we you know, everything, you know, closed up. And, but now everything's opening up now, and uh, which is a positive thing, a positive, and it's great. And any more, any questions, Carmelita? Well, you know what? I think you you sped through that pretty well. Um, just happens <laughs> that you uh, happen to be uh, coming to us on the day of Victoria Day, which oh, is right. uh, a Canada. national right. patriotic uh, Patriots Day in Quebec, Canada. And I thought about mentioning that because you're from Toronto, Canada. That's and correct, uh, yes. yes. And I just think that it was a blessing meeting you years ago. I, I remember the first time I met you 
It was at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. Oh, and, you know, that's, that's where that's Johnny that's Grant, that's the uh, honorary that's mayor that's of that's Hollywood, that's used to reside. And I actually met him there uh, one time. I happened to be up on uh, one of the floors there. I don't recall oh, why. Oh, Johnny Grant. <laughs> but, but, Johnny Grant uh, oh, those are the days of Johnny Grant and Alison Gilbert. Yes, well, yes. The well, they used to have. All the Hollywood stars like Mr. Rogers and, and you know, I've met so many uh, Hollywood uh, celebrities, Clint Eastwood, and um, I think Johnny Depp. I could go on and on. And, you know, even well, you know, dishes. sometimes I tease my husband because I tell him, I say, honey, you know, between you and I, it looks like we've met just about everybody, Buzz Aldrin, the man oh, uh, on, on, on the moon, sure, and all, course, I mean, the walk yeah. the moon, and on and on. But, you know, he used to work for NBC, and he started out with CNN, so you can imagine yeah, he he's met so many people in the industry. And, and sometimes it's not just show business. Sometimes it's political figures. You know, like one time he had to, to give a tour to uh, the governor of California, Governor Brown, and, and, and I was teasing him because he had to direct him. I said, oh, you're giving the governor directions, you know. <laughs> oh, my gosh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but it, yeah, that's another that's another subject, too. Yeah, that's, right. mm-hmm. that's, that's just right. Yeah, I've met a few, a uh, couple of political fa- figures myself. Matter of fact, yeah. I was engaged to a political figure, Michael Schaefer, and he's a Democrat. I was, I was engaged to him, but uh, you know, he was. Uh, it was different. You know, play, uh, that's another uh, another subject that uh, the yeah, politicians a, or something yeah, else. Yeah, you anyway. know, right now, uh, uh, politics these days is a real sticky subject. You know, I try to it's be neutral because subject, I have friends I on like both sides of the like fence, and I love them all. You know, and, just and the borders, <laughs> and, you know, and the price of gas, and you know, it, it, it's really sad. It's uh it's, uh, yeah, it's 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 a uh, really sad today. Well, the and, thing but, is, I, is that we I have, have to all God, remember God that we're over. that God we all come over. from the same source, and just remember to treat yes. each other as as uh, our biggest leader would say, treat one another as you would have them treat you. That's the that golden exactly rule. Right, now God. that's Absolutely. the, that's you know, the best God. rule God's to abide by. Now. Yeah, and you know, like you said, God's in charge. You know, and that's and right. so forth. And, yeah, and uh, you know, so we just see that things will unfold and and things will be better. But the most important thing now is that things are opening up, and then June the fifteenth, we cannot wear our, we don't have to wear our mask. And um, you know, I had to on Saturday, Escadilla, I walked in there with no mask. I try, and they said, "Oh, you don't have your mask." I said, "Oh, that's oh, yeah, you know that. something? Isn't that wonderful?" <laughs> now you know, uh, I have to say in Taiwan. <laughs> According to what I've heard, only 12 people died since the beginning of the pandemic, and you, and and uh, one of the main reasons is because they all wore masks. Now, just think oh, really? if, oh, wow. it, yes, if everybody had done that from the very beginning, we would have already been back to business a long, long time ago. But yeah, now so that, that yeah. you know yeah. we're we're moving in the right direction. Uh, uh, and I think it's just a matter of time that we can get back to normal, and everybody will be celebrating. We'll be able to. Well, without well, that said, and probably June yes. the 15th, uh, we're doing the things on that downtown uh, Palm Springs. And I'm also part of the uh, Sunny Cycle uh, Tourism. And uh, the person who's in charge of that, her name was Jen, I can't think of her last name, but she's in charge of the Sunny Cycle, a very nice lady. And she wants to give me the name of uh, Palm Springs Royalty. So I have to market myself that I'm the Palm Springs Royalty. You're going to have a new title now, uh, Audrey. (laughs) It's Palm Springs Royalty. Why not? Well, people seem to like it, but I, I you know, I asked a couple of people, I said, what do you think about that, you know, and they said they, yes. you know, they like it, but, and I, I mean, they're the other ones that came up with it, I mean, her and her, uh, mm-hmm. her buddy that she was with, uh, I forget the guy's name, oh, he knew Charlie Chaplin, he knew um, people that worked for Charlie Chaplin, that, and that was very interesting, and, you know, and Sidney Chaplin lived out here in the desert, too, and uh, and they know who I am, and of course we were released as out here. And, oh yeah, and so I've had the opportunity and, to and meet very, many uh, of those people. 
like Ruta Lee and Debbie Reynolds before she graduated to a better place. But, you know, uh, it's like I just want to get back to how the higher power is in charge. You know, the the 14th Rose Variety Art Show, which you were also part of, uh, it was just really a mini miracle where we wound up on six and a half acres, remember? Uh, And did you know that the actual Charlie Chaplin used to play tennis there? And there... And there we were with our Charlie Chaplin, and and Margaret O'Brien showed up with, with uh, uh, oh, the yeah, Lord yeah. Randall Malone. Uh, it, it's just really been a, a amazing journey, having you on board. And I never will forget when I first met you, you came on board from the very beginning. Right after yes. my mother graduated, November sixteenth, nineteen ninety seven, the very next year was actually when the Rose Roddy Art Show was born and when the Rose Breast Cancer Society was born as a living memorial. And you were our silent master of ceremonies, and you have been so loyal, and you've been on board ever since. And, you know, we've still got great plans ahead of us. Right now we're working on a mural, the Gardens of Life Project, but eventually we're going to have a huge celebration and... uh, it's being it's all being planned now and we'll we're gonna have a, a reunion because we're working now on the museum. Um I have a oh, museum. My mother, great. you know, her oh, yeah. her uh where she, her residence was, you know, and that's gonna be a place where we're gonna have our our next meeting, so look forward to that. And I'll be looking forward to getting all the gang back together, all our original members, our honorary members, uh, Senior Senator yes. Pasquale. I know he's listening. Hey there, Pasquale. Oh, uh, yeah. Hi, Pasquale. Oh, yes, Pasquale. <laughs> and, and, uh, and, and, yes. Oh, and, my God. And, I hope uh, he's listening. Yes. Uh, yeah, he was, he's absolutely wonderful. And, and he wants yes. to do a lot of stuff with, you know, and, and you know, and, and our good friend died, uh, Paul, um, Paul Arco, he was uh, on, on the board of the uh, Golden Globe Awards. He just died here a couple of months, uh, just a few months ago. Maybe, yeah. maybe six months ago, he just died too. Oh, so, I mean, boy. We're losing a lot of, you know. Well, you know, they're production. they're moving on. You know, like my my, my, on, my yeah. late friend said, Janae Dubois, who is the theme song for the Jefferson, moving on up. Oh, you yeah. Know, she and, used you know, to do that. Cold, you know, you I know, miss Janae. Cold, She's been over here cold. to the house for lunch and so on. But um, before you know, we go, because we have... The Jeffrey Foundation. What? Was, what's your name? Yeah, I am part of that organization, too. I work with the Jeffrey Foundation and, and Larry Corbin. I've done a lot of stuff with Larry. I've known Larry for a while. Oh, I know. I mean, and we're going to give He's a shout-out right. to Larry Colvin and yeah, his wife, his lovely yeah, wife, Marsha Colvin. Marsha Colvin, yeah. Yes. And and uh, we want to give a shout out to Gloria Berlin. I talked to her oh, last yeah, night. Oh yeah, Gloria Berlin. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, and she, she yeah, Michael but Jackson she's the, re- the Neverland. Right, yeah. the realtor to Michael I've been Jackson. There, been there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah and then uh, also her son Catherine. Morton. Yeah. I want to tell you that Morton says hello to you. Oh. And he says, oh yes, that nice lady. And you know what's funny about it is, is a lot of people see you as Charlie Chaplin. They don't realize that. Uh, he is a she because you do such a great job <laughs> portraying. Well, Charlie. you know, it's funny. Uh, when I was working at the Grommans, and I was, and I, you know, I meet a lot of media, and I've been in, in every, uh, every uh, news media around the whole world, and every newspaper and everything. And uh, they said, yeah, I have the same eyes as Charlie Chaplin. And I remember you really, that. really, uh, you really do a wonderful job. Guy, uh, yeah, Audrey, guy, you know yeah, what? It's fucking. time for us to get on our horses and. Right off into the sunset, as I usually always say, and um, of course, I'm sure you have the better means of transportation than that. But 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 uh, <laughs> I've had some cowboys on my show. Of, uh, you know, I'm uh, friends with uh, real steel cowboys, and and in and in case uh, Catherine Coven is listening in, and I want to say hello to her and Bill. Uh, they're oh, part of that yeah. group and yeah, and yeah, the yeah. Southern yeah. California Motion Picture Council. Hopefully they're uh, are listening in. Um, but let's just say goodbye, and uh, we we really won't say goodbye. We'll just say so long until the next time. 
Audrey. The next time, and I really thank you, Comrie. I thank you, and I appreciate you, and you're uh, absolutely, and, and your husband, and, and the other people in Hollywood. I'm really very grateful, and I really, really thank you, and and I'm so grateful. And now we got uh, the best is yet to come. <laughs> Yes, and I, I want to say a shout out also to our friend Sharon Doyle. Um, she does an amazing oh, we just job. Did that. Well, I we, we just did that. I thought we just, yeah, Sharon Doyle, nice lady. We, you yeah, mentioned yeah. you I mentioned the, the uh, group, and which I happen to be a member of, thanks to her. Uh, they're doing wonderful things for women. Women are coming out there, you know, and, and doing Palmer, wonderful so things. We just did it on Saturday, a big event. I remember we just talked about that yeah, in Palmer. And they had like 14 I think, speakers up there. And they had the big dinner, big big, big ballroom. Yeah, really yes. Big, 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 I'm looking big, big, forward nice. to the next one. You know, this year I've been very reticent and, and really sticking my neck out there. But because I keep promoting, you know, being safe and so on and so forth. But I'm sure you had a great time, and they were very, very fortunate to oh, have you nice. on board. <laughs> she didn't cut your mouth. It's funny. It's black mass. It's just, this is perfect. And it actually worked out fine. It worked out great. So oh, you know applause. what? We're hearing the applause. So we're going to we're gonna take our bow now, uh, Audrey. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We'll, we'll yeah. see you God next time. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Smartphone. Cell phone. PC, Mac, tablet, iPad. That's right. It's tech time. Well, baby boomers, remember back in the day when we first started using computers and they were just new and we were still young and we were trying to really learn how to use computers? But none of us had printers because you didn't have to print anything then. We use them mainly to play games and to send messages, and we really didn't print things out. And then we went through a time period where we printed everything out. We used reams and reams of paper. We never used to have reams of paper at home, but we had reams of paper of printing out everything that we saw on the computer. Now we've kind of gone back to the day where we just keep everything online. We have these massive gigabytes hard drive, so rather than print it, we just store it on the hard drive or even up in the cloud where it's just an infinite amount of space up there in the cloud. But you know what? We still occasionally need printers. I had some work done in my house. I did some. I had some contracts. They sent them by email. I wanted some hard copies of those contracts, so I needed to print them out. Well, some of us don't have printers anymore, but you know what? They're so inexpensive now, you might as well make sure that you always have a printer on hand just in case you do need to print something out. I remember paying three and $400 for a printer. That was a big expense at the time. You could almost buy a used car for that at the time, matter of fact. Now, you can get a printer for under $30 because they don't make their money on the printer, their money on the ink. The ink for a black cartridge and a, and a black and a color cartridge, you can pay upwards of $60, more, way more than the printer actually costs. But it's worth it, especially if you're not doing a lot of printing. You'll have your printer on hand so you don't have to go to Kinko's or wherever to print something out in a pinch when you need it. And it's convenient. It's right there in your home. Now, for us actors, we have to print out scripts nowadays because they just send them over the email. There was a day where they would messenger your script that night. But nowadays, mm -mm. they will email it to you, and you have to print out either your slides, which are your lines, where your lines are, or you can print out the whole script. Or if you're writing a manuscript, you got to have hard copies for that. So back in the day, there was IBM. That was the big everything. They did everything business. Now, not so much. But the big three is still HP, Hewlett Packard, uh, Epson, and Canon. Those are the computers that you can find nowadays. And like I said, for the most part, 
you can find a, a good printer for like $30. I remember buying used printers because they were so expensive. Now, don't even bother buying a used printer. Just pick up an inexpensive printer, keep it on hand, and you'll be able to print out whatever documents you need. And you know what? You can even order documents, and they will send them to you by email, and you can make your own hard copy of all your business dealings. It's a wonderful thing. And I hate to tell you this, baby boomers, but they're moving towards a paperless society. And so those of you who don't want to learn how to use the Internet, you don't want to learn how to go online and pay your bills, you're going to be in trouble. And especially with the pandemic, we've seen more and more of people not wanting to touch things, not wanting to spread paper around. It's going to start being pretty much paperless. So you need to get that inexpensive printer, learn how to hook it up, and almost everybody has Wi-Fi now. So you can get your Wi-Fi together and just send it through the air. It's, a, it's amazing. For those of us who have lived long enough to be baby boomer, boomers, we've gone from not having even TV in the home to having TVs in every room, a phone in our pocket or our purse, and a printer of our very own in our office. So check into some of those printers, get a low-cost one, and you will be ahead of the game. Now, since Jim's not here today, we're not going to have any Jim's Jim's, but I want you to get okay, your pencil. Okay, baby boomers, and it's time for Jim from Jim's. Jim. From Jim. Well, Rita, so I, I, I actually going to be Jim from from Eric instead of Jim, Jim's from Jim. So Jim, I want them Jim, to get their pencils and their papers ready. It, it was going to be Jim's the easy way, but I got a surprise for everybody. Dad, you there? Yeah. Hello. Oh, Jim. Jim. Yeah. Hi. There. Yeah, I'm kind of. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Yeah, the, no well, fun, I'll tell you. I'm sitting in the recovery. I'm actually in the recovery room now. Oh, well, my goodness. Now, that's a trooper. The show must go on when you call it I the to get, recovery room. I had to get my phone, but, uh, oh, boy. Are you are you, are you okay? I didn't I didn't know that there was a recovery situation. I thought it was just there's just tests. What do you mean you're in the recovery room? Well, it's a, it's a you know, it's, Kind of invasive test they do, and it makes you groggy and a little. Oh, well, I mean, why, why don't you take take your rest? I, I can, I can. Me and Rita can can hold it down. Uh, just, uh, did you want to say anything to the audience? Just say hi to everybody and uh, eat healthy, so you don't have to come <laughs> and come and do all these tests. Oh boy! All right, I'll, I'll, well, you I'll definitely will be in our prayers. All right, talk to you guys later. Just want to say hi. Thank you, Dad. Love you. Okay. I right. right. love you. Bye. I had I had no idea that uh, that that he was um, in a recovery situation. He didn't tell me that. But uh, see see how much he I loves you guys. You guys see how see That's how much he loves really? you guys. Like like my my dad really loves this show. He he takes it very seriously. It's dear to his heart. Uh, you know I mean and 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 even being in the recovery room, he wanted to make sure he popped on to say hello to you to, to all of the listeners out there. So um I will do the gems Jim Gems the easy way uh today. So so I'm gonna go ahead and ask the engineer to play that uh that little intro again and let me pretend that uh I'm I'm the gem I'm the Jim Gems substitute. So engineer go ahead and play that intro one more time. Okay baby, okay, boomers. baby boomers it's time it's for Jim from Jim <laughs> Okay, everybody. Hello, everybody. I am Jim's son, Eric Zulia. I happen to be the, the owner and founder of this network, Easy Way Network, Easy Way Radio, Easy Way Broadcasting. And we are going to give you some pretty fantastic gems. And it's not going to be news. It's not going to be doom and gloomy news like my dad always gives you, but it's actually great news, great inf- information uh, the, as far as what's going on out there in the world. It's going to be Easy Way News. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know about Easy Way, I was going to tell you guys a little little bit about it. And uh, we've created a pretty, a couple of pretty amazing platforms. But the big, big news is 
I just got a message. I just got a notification from our, our partners that, that Easy Way Network, our television network, is now on Google Play. So we're not just Apple anymore. It's now on Google Play. So there's no excuses why not to be able to watch our programming and uh, watch our shows. We have a lot of great shows from reality shows to streaming shows to events to charity shows to music. A lot of great stuff that's on on the uh, the new Google Play app. We, we, we have to continue to update it, but it was approved by Google. Yay. Uh, and it's been on Apple Store for quite quite some time. time. As well as if you have a smart television um, for, that, that gives you Roku, uh, Apple TV, or Amazon, uh, you can enjoy Easy Way Network uh, in the comfort of your own home. Uh, now, if you don't have any of that, or you don't know how to use any of that, you can go to easyway.tv and watch a lot of our programming for free. You can click on live and whenever we have a live, live broadcast going. Uh, or the Wall of Fame, which we've been telling you guys about, a, a social network. And I'm, I'm tra- Rita, am I, am I going slow enough? Is this, is this baby boomer speed enough for everybody, you think? Yeah. You promised you would slow down for us? That's great. What was that, easyway.com? Easy <laughs> I'm way- writing stuff down myself. <laughs> easyway.tv is where you go to see the television programming, which is you know, a lot of streaming edu- edutainment uh, type of stuff. Um, but, but the biggest and best site that you want to go to for like everything that we do, uh, we've forwarded our easy way wall of fame to easy way network. So from now on, just go to easywaynetwork.com. We're gonna make it real simple for you guys. And whenever we have a broadcast happen, like tomorrow I'll, I'll be, I'll be doing my show easy talk live with a award winning actor. Uh, Reese, I think you've heard of him. Uh, let's see, let, let's, let's, let's play a little game. You know, my dad likes to play the fun games. I'm going to play a little game. Let's play guest, the uh, Easy Talk Live guest, the acting guest. So let's see if Rita can guess who my guest is. He he was very famous for a movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger, and it had to do with pursuing an alien. Okay, the movie starts with a predator, pre- maybe. Yeah, yeah, Predator. Yeah, he, okay, Predator, I yeah. got he that was, right. He, he was an actor in Predator. Very famous actor. He's actually very, very famous now. He's doing a lot, of, a lot of new stuff, but that was like where he was mostly famous from, uh, with um, uh, Carl Weathers actually, which I interviewed as well. Very, a couple of really famous scenes. He's a, he's a black actor. <laughs> I'll, I'll narrow it down. He's a black, black actor. I can't okay. think of his name. He, he's in, he's in he's on Netflix right now. He's in he's on CW. He's in Black Lightning. DC's Black Lightning. Oh, I can't think of his name. Oh, Retha, 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 Retha. Uh, I'm a blooper. He, we can't remember these <laughs> things. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of some boomer stuff that. Uh, okay, I'll tell you who it is. Bill Duke. Bill Duke. Yeah, Bill Duke's gonna be my guest tomorrow. Of How cool course. is that? Of yeah. course. He's also yeah, an author. So, yeah, well he's he's a you know, NAACP award winner and, and you know, Oscar nominee and uh, all this all this amazing stuff that he's done. He actually has a foundation he's gonna be talking about that we'll be working with him on, uh called the Duke Media Foundation. He works with youth and teaches them media and business. And um yeah, he's on the wall of fame. And he's looking forward to meeting all of you guys. So if anybody wants to connect with Bill Duke and get involved with what we'll be doing, you can get involved with that on the Wall of Fame. And it's free to create an account, create a profile. And so we'll be live with Bill Duke. It'll be an interactive show. You can now download the uh, the Easy Way Network app on Google Play, as well as Apple Store if you want to watch it live. And we have our Easy Way Family app. You can watch it live. But that's more for like coaches. If you're a coach, you want to download the Easyway Family app. Uh, if you want to just watch our TV, download the uh, Google Play or Apple Store. Or on the Wall of Fame, you just click on Live, and it's right there. So we made it really simple. So the Wall of Fame is the main site. If you go on there and you click on Live, you'll see the promotion for Bill Duke. Um, and it's very interactive. You can comment and, and get really, really involved. 
Uh, we also have a store on there. So if anybody has any products or services, I mean, we've, we've actually sold uh, well over 400 services and products on our store so far. We have about 250,000 people a month that are coming into the platform. And Rita, can you believe that we're almost at 500 profiles now? 500 actual active wow. subscribers. 300 plus people wow. log in using this platform now. And, and now, how that, exactly do you get to the Wall of Fame? <laughs> well, like I said, that we made it real simple. You can go to Easy Way Network, letter E, letter Z, W A Y Network. dot com, and that'll take you to the Wall of Fame. And then when you when you get to the Wall Yay! of Fame site, yeah, yeah. So when you get to the Wall of Fame site. Uh, you, there's a big button. We made it, we made it really big and in your face. It, it couldn't be any simpler. Big old button that says sign up for free. You know, and, and then you click up sign sign up for free. You can create your free account on mobile on the mobile phone. Because I know a lot of people use mobile. The mobile is a little bit different. So when you go on the mobile phone, you go to easywaynetwork.com and it'll take you to the to the Wall of Fame. You'll see on the top right. Well, there's a there's a big button now that says login, okay. That login there's there's also a button that says sign up for free and sign in. But we made a really big button on the menu. If you click on login, that'll ask you to create an account if you don't have an account, or if you have an account, you can just log right in to your stuff. Um, and we made it really simple to uh, to navigate it now, where you can just click on the on the top top right. There's a little down arrow where where everything is there to manage your account. And and what's really exciting, Rita, is we're turning this thing. It's going to start looking like LinkedIn pretty soon. And I wanted to give a real big shout out and a thank you to Gucci Solutions, our official Easy Way webmaster that's building all this stuff. And if you guys out there need any type of development in any capacity online or app based, there is no one better than Gucci Gucci Solutions. We're actually going to. Uh, you know, link up with them on an affiliate level and, and work with them to be an easy way solution. We send you to Gucci solutions and their company to build these websites. And, and obviously you see what we have, you know, they're building a lot of that technology and they're making it really simple for us to make a lot of money self-sustainable. So now we're, we're actually being able to self-sustain and, and, and keep everything going. It's, it's, it's pretty awesome. We also have a gold carpet, Rita. All the everybody out there. I mean, if you want to get exposure, we have so many tools to give you exposure better than anybody else out there, and we have a community like I told you that helps to to push you out. So if you get on our gold carpet and we interview you, you can do it from the comfort of your own home. You don't even need to come to us. Be right there on Zoom or Streamyard or whatever platform that that works for you. We we prefer Zoom and Streamyard. Uh, we can interview you uh, anywhere from ten minutes to to thirty minutes, and then what we do is we take that interview. And we put it on our Easy Way blog. We have a blog wall where, where, where our 500 members are putting out what they got going on. Everybody, I mean, Rita, everybody's got something going on. They got a stage that they're doing, an event, or a book, or a, a, a fundraising situation, or they have their own podcast, or they have their own shows. And you know, we've tapped into what everybody else is doing right there on that wall. Like, I'm giving, giving and now that everything's opening up, there's going to be even more opportunities. Exactly, and if you actually go on the blog wall, you'll see that we do news, events, interviews, TV shows, live streams, social media opportunities, so on and so forth. So I'll give you, for instance, one of our wall of famers, one of our celebrity wall of famers is uh, Kevin Sorbo, and those baby boomers out there would remember him from Hercules. Hercules, Hercules. Um, and, you know, he's done many, many, many other films. And, and recently, uh, some news that happened, you know, he lost his Facebook account because he was telling the truth about a lot of this, this stuff that's happening and in and, and his opinion and, and Facebook didn't like it. And so they removed his account. And so he went on Fox talking about it. Well, he also called us. And so we put a story out on that Fox story and, and what's going on. We've gotten him 8,634 viewers in addition to his Fox interview. And, and we've put this out on his profile and we've been helping him, you know, so we've been helping to support him as he's been helping to support us. That could be you out there, guys. That could be you. Whatever news you have going on, we can pick it up and put it out. And the really cool thing is we also have affiliate partners 
We have people that get it out to NBC, ABC, Fox, CBS. We have so many affiliate partners. When we do a blog post, these affiliate partners are also sometimes picking up these blog posts. They're getting ranked on, on the search engines, on Google and Yahoo and Amazon and, and so on and so forth. So it's very easy to find that story. And the bottom line, it gets out there. You can see the traffic. If you have your own account, your own profile, you'll see the traffic. We've been doing this for almost 20 years, and we built a pretty amazing platform. Let's not forget the 40-something shows that we're getting ready to release around July, August, and September. We have about 10 shows right now that are promoting the Wall of Fame, that are promoting the network. So we get a lot of great traffic, and if you want to get exposure, we've created a really uh, uh, simple and interesting solution uh, to do that. And a lot of people are doing shows with us now because of this platform that, that we've created. Did I did I explain that slow enough, Aretha? Did, did you did you comprehend it? So if you comprehended it, I'm sure all the other I, baby boner listeners listeners will get it. I loved it. Absolutely <laughs> loved it. It was slow enough, comprehensive enough, not using any of those fancy words that we do not understand. <laughs> <laughs> we understand traffic. <laughs> okay. Okay, got it. So don't don't say AI and virtual reality and and OTT and yeah. OTA and and no 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 yeah no, NFT no, none of those Mm-mm. no foreign technology <laughs> language got got you okay now the, the only other thing that I want I wanted to tell everybody about is this platform also helps you make money just by referring just by telling people about it which they're going to want to be involved with it anyways we have about ninety celebrities on here now. Uh, seven-figured income earners and higher. We even have a 10-figured income earner on here. Can you believe that? A 10-figured income earner is on this wall of fame. With two, no, two. With two 10-figured income earners on, on the wall of fame. And so when you get I your count... I don't know how much that is. 10 figures is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, <laughs> 9, 10. Zero. Zero. Ten zeros. All right. So that's 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 kind of in the billions. Yeah. So we have two billionaires <laughs> on the Wall of Fame right now. And and if you pay fifty four ninety nine a month, I'll tell you who they are. Wink. All right. So anyway, um, oh, we yeah. also have the affiliate portal, which is a new platform that thanks to Gucci Solutions they did an amazing job on it, which allows you to get anywhere from ten to even fifty percent of revenue on anything that happens on the Wall of Fame. Anything that gets clicked, anything that gets bought, anything that gets, you know, involved with, anything whatsoever, you get paid. And it's all automatic. See the silence. Everybody's like stunned. I don't believe you, Eric. No way. <laughs> the rebate. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's pretty cool. We're excited about it. There's going to be a lot of other new rollouts uh, happening soon. And, and uh, we hope that you guys will go check it out. Uh, if you want, it real, we made it really simple for you. Text easy a e letter z w a y no spaces to the number five five six seven eight. You'll receive a reply back on your text that will give you the link and explain to you, you know, everything that we do, but mainly the Wall of Fame because that's the main platform that we use. If you want to get involved with us, if you want to do business with us in any capacity you pretty much need to be on the wall of fame and have a profile because that's how we track everything. And that's how we do business. We put it into an automated system because honestly, Ruth, I want to keep my hair and I was losing it. So I had to put a system. Yeah. I don't don't want to be a baby boomer yet at age 40. (laughs) (laughs) Come on. Come on. Andrew. Where's, where's the laughing sound? That was funny. Dang it. Here we go. But yeah, I, I also well, wanted to everything discuss. sounds like it's it's going just wonderfully. There are lots of wonderful people on the Wall of Fame, and since we haven't been going to mixers or places where you can meet people, it's a great place that you can continue to network. Yep, that's basically it. It's a great, it's a great place where you can network with the Easy Way family, and we do treat everybody like family. If you get approved on the Wall of Fame then, then you, we consider you family. It's not a open to the public platform by any means. You do need to be approved. So when you sign up, you'll, you will get a notice and we'll let you know if you're approved or not. If you see yourself on the wall, you got approved and you'll, you know, you get an email and all. And, that, and that's very important that people are vetted because there are a lot of people 
the the nefarious, and they're just out to take your money. But you can feel safe if you hear about them on the wall of fame. Yep, exactly. And and I'll tell you, Ruth, that we've we've had over over like three thousand submissions, and we've accepted less than five hundred people. So we know they're good people. They're all quality, really high end people. Yeah, and and you can't really connect with them unless you're unless you're a member. So it's a very elite group, little elite easy way family, and um, you know we we really appreciate our fam our family, and we have some big events coming up. Uh, all the news is always on the Easyway blog. Everything going down is always going to be on that blog. Big event coming up on June 16th and 17th, teaching you from an attorney that has been doing this for well close to 30 years uh, from Wall Street, and she specializes in intellectual property. Uh, it's an event to teach you how to protect your business because that's one thing that we really uh, you know learned is no matter how much we market you, no matter how much we get you out there, if we do that prematurely and we put the cart before the horse, it doesn't really do the client that much satisfaction. There's so many things that people don't know as far as tightening up their business, crossing their T's and dotting their I's, making sure that they have releases and, and it just the, the paperwork has got to be in place and they, they don't know where to go and what to, what to do. And I mean, a lot of people don't even have their companies properly done. Yeah, I'm, I'm finding that I'm, 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 getting, I'm getting clients and I'm blowing them up and, and it's becoming a problem because they didn't even do their paperwork right for their companies. So this, 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 I this was event. Just driving, I was just driving around the other day, literally, looking at all the companies who had the same colors in their logo. And I thought, you know, if I'm driving down the street, I could confuse this auto parts store for a convenience store because they have the same colors. And I'm sure that that's part of the intellectual property that you can help people with, get those logos and colors right. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And, you, and, and so the bottom line, guys, is, is it's education, and what you don't know can hurt you. I'll say that again. Absolutely. What you don't know can hurt you. So we don't want anybody in our community to, to, to have those sets of problems. So we're, we're putting together these educational events with, with top-level experts that are very well-qualified. They're all on the wall of fame. I, I, I mean, we have people in the author and the publishing world. We have people in, in the artistry world, the music world, the business, finance world, uh, you know, capital. I mean, you name it, we have an expert on that wall of fame. And and so we're going to be able to really educate our, our community and this particular event, teach you how to protect and monetize your business. I mean, we have people like Alex Stern, who's the co-founder of Constant Contact and is in the six, seven-figure uh, bracket. Laura Langmar, same thing. Myself, I'm proud to say that I'm in that in that bracket now, uh, teaching you teaching you media. Uh, Les Brown's founder for his institute, Eric Stoller, is going to be speaking on that stage. Uh, Dr. Liddy Lewis, who's the, the attorney, and she'll be ta- ta- teaching about a lot of the protection side of things. Uh, uh, Dame Doria, who, who's who's one of the one of the CEO, CEOs of the uh, mon- um, the Money and You organization. Uh, Omar Perryu, who is one of the founders of LA Fitness and works with multiple Fortune 500 companies. He's, he's doing a show on our television network, like. The wall of fame is always going to be bringing these experts into these platforms and, and teaching you guys a lot, or you guys might be an expert yourself. You should be reaching out to me. If you want to, if you want to get spotlighted and you want to get more business and you want to get more value and maybe we can bring you on the easy way experts program, which we're developing right now. There's going to be certifications. I mean, I think we, we, we are doing too much as I'm hearing myself talk Rita, I'm like, man, what is wrong with me? I'm, I'm, I, how am I doing all this? How is that possible? I, I, I mean, I, and I, I used to think you did a lot ten years ago, you're, and you're doing <laughs> even more now. Yeah, but I got a team of like fifty people, so I'm. I'm shout out to my team. I appreciate them so much. And and there's a difference. I remember when it was just you and your dad and a couple other guys lugging around equipment. <laughs> You've exactly. come a long way. Thank you, Rita. I appreciate that. So, uh, uh, one more thing I wanted I wanted to, to address, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, we have my associate producer for Easy Talk Live, Matt J. Doyle, who also is our IMDb director. He has a show called The Artist Process that helps you to learn the process of being an artist. 
And Retha Gray is actually going to be one of the featured celebrity actors, not guests. This is not a talk show. This is an actual like documentary kind of reality scripted show that they've been doing for like three years. And they're going to have a, a scene. You guys out there as the audience can actually help to create the scene that Retha will act in. Uh, it, it's, it's really, really cool. And so I know Retha, you'll be going on set there pretty soon. And, and that, you know, that flyer is out, out and about on the Easyway fam group. Um, and, and we're, we're excited to see you doing your acting thing on, on, on that platform, which is exclusive to the Easyway network. And it's important that the actors stay up with the technology, whether you're young or old, the technology is changing. One of the major casting uh, companies, the, in, the internet casting companies, has just changed their platform literally today. And if you haven't kept up with it and haven't changed your your pictures and your videos and your representation, you're going to get swept off of this major platform. So you, as an actor, you got to keep up with it. So this is the perfect way to hear what's going on in the industry. So, Rita, let me ask you a one question uh, that, that I, I really, truly want to hear from, from, from your heart. And you being involved with us and being involved with the Easyway family for years and years and years and, and you know, just being so in-house with us and, and such a friend. But you've really kind of seen it grow, I think. Where do you think that Easyway Network is really going to go? Like moving forward in the future, if you were to compare us to another company or, I mean, what do you think is going to happen with us five years from now? Oh, global. Global. You've set up all the foundations to be a global network. And that's how this, the world is going nowadays. You can't just do business in Southern California. You can't just do business in the United States. You've got to be global, and you set up a foundation that people in Timbuktu can communicate with people in Jersey, and just more and more, not just national, but international connections to be made and business deals to be made. And like I said, I've seen you grow from just you and your dad and a couple of guys lugging around equipment, doing red carpets, <clears throat> to this wonderful, easy way family. So the stars are the limit. And we know Aww. we don't know where the stars in. <laughs> <laughs> well, we the Wall of Fame helps to make you a star. And thank you for saying that. I, I appreciate that. I'm, I always want to get everybody's opinion and kind of third-party perspective on the hard work that we we put into to building these platforms for you guys. I mean, everything that we have is really to benefit everybody else. And, and, and it's just tremendous watching that happen. Um, so, so uh, I, I just really appreciate you guys. And, and I, I'm always looking forward to seeing what God wants to do with it, you know, tomorrow and the next day and the next day, because it's really God's platform, not mine. And that's the other thing. You always give the glory to God and, you know, a lot of people are afraid to do that, and you and your dad and your affiliates and associates are God-fearing people. So that's a blessing in and of itself. Yes, definitely. And and if my my suggestion to anybody out there listening, uh, don't be afraid to be very proud of God. You know, shout out to the rooftop. I, I've had a lot of people tell me that I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't do that. I can't tell you guys how many times I've had people tell me I shouldn't do this and I shouldn't do that and don't do this and don't do that. And I followed my gut and did what I wanted to do. I did it the easy way, not your way. I did it my, did, did the easy way. And, and, you know, not to brag, but look at where, where we are now today. I mean, I, I have billionaires calling me wanting to invest in my company. So, so we're doing something right, you know, and, and, and I think that's because we're creating a solution for everybody else. And that's, that's not easy to do. It took us, you know, close to 18 years now to get to get to this point. So my advice to everybody out there is, is pray, let him guide you. When you have people that get into your ears, you know, you're going to have a lot of people that will get into your ears and try to get you to steer in what they want you to do and what their direction. Now, don't, don't get me wrong. Listen to it, absorb it, adopt the, the, the information. If you think it can help you grow, but, but don't, 
listen and, and implement, listen to your own heart and him and God and, and, and then, and then move forward. You know, so you're going to have a lot of pe- people that will, that will derail you and it's just part of the game, you know? So, but anyway, um, I could talk forever. We don't have any more time. Uh, and I, and I got 1130 <laughs> coming up. So, uh, Rita, I love you. Appreciate you. And, and shout out to everybody that, uh, that, that, that keeps us going our fuel out there. You, the Easyway family is our fuel, all the radio boomers, live fans and listeners out there. Big shout out to Carmelita Pittman in the Carmelita's corner and all of her fans, uh, and everybody, you guys, you guys are what make it, makes us what we are. I look forward to seeing you on the, on the wall of fame and, and out there in social media land. And, um, if you guys want to show, if you might want your own platform to do the same thing that we're doing right now and make money, you know, please contact us at 877-399-2929 or email letter E, letter Z, W-A-Y, network at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing from you. Rita, go ahead and close it out. Well, thank you for filling in for your dad. Our prayers and our thoughts are going out to him. Um, I'm, it, like he said, it's just testing, so he was in the recovery room, but he's clearly recovering, and thank you for calling in, Jim. We love you. We miss you. We look forward to seeing you again next Monday. And for all of you out there, all of the Easy Way family, have a great week. We will see you next Monday morning, 10, 8, 10 o'clock, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. This next commercial coming up, guys, this product saved my life, and it's a big reason why I was able to tap into my brain to be able to close the deals like I do. Coming up next is one of my favorite sponsors and now a a client and doing a show, possibly a network, uh, BrainTap. The BrainTap is a unique headset that combines light and sound frequencies with guided meditations. Dr. Patrick Porter, inventor of BrainTap and member of our faculty, has created 20 to 30 minute course reviews for many of our courses. Before starting a course or at any point before taking the exam, you can put on your brain tap, close your eyes, and begin your course review. Brain tapping guides your mind from an awake reactionary mind into an intuitive creative state, then to a place where super learning and healing can occur, with the outcome being a heightened state of consciousness with crystal clear focus. Relax with scientifically proven techniques that create a symphony of brainwave activity, a feeling of calm focus that's just right for learning and productivity. Each session is designed with brainwave balance in mind. Some audio sessions have dual voice processing, which means you may hear two voices speaking at the same time. This technique is used for inspiring left and right brain balance. Thank you for listening to Radio Boomers Live with your hosts, Rita Gray, Star Betty White's Off Their Rockers, and EZ's dad, Jim Zuli. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter at Radio Boomers Live. Radio Boomers Live is brought to you by the Easy Way Broadcasting Network. That's the letter E, the letter Z, Broadcasting Network.